think Thug is going to get found guilty. I think he will get found guilty um, in this RICO case. I think it will be appealed. I think all the efforts for mistrials will not be successful. I do think he will get found guilty. I do think that an appellate court is going to overturn it. There's been too much in this case for this case um, findings to stand. They're going to appeal, and I think they're going to win the appeal. The appeal is going to basically almost say, we're going to clear the conviction, and y'all going to have to choose to to pursue another trial against him or this end third. By that time, I think in a few years from now, it's going to take years. In a few years from now, the Fulton County DA's office is going to have to make the decision, do we want to go through this again? It took a year just to find juries, basically. Do we want to go through this whole process again trying to convict this guy? And I think what was probably going to happen, they're going to have Young Thug take a lengthy probation just like how they, they give gave it to gun and all these people they're gonna do it but they're gonna chalk up the win as young thug has been locked up and by that time young thug is already gonna be incarcerated for five years so i think young thug is gonna spend the next couple of years in jail but not on not in prison necessarily because i think this is, will get reversed in an appeal then they're gonna allow him to get out with like 15 or 20 years in probation that hopefully they could get him fucking up later to come back but that'll be what it is if you ask me if you don't think it's gonna happen like that let me point out a few things to you the only way for young thug to get a mistrial at least currently is that this judge has to say it's a mistrial. This judge is basically beefing with Young Thug's lawyer. Him admitting or him granting motion for a mistrial would probably already super, it would fast track this case onto some disciplinary committee or even some oversight committee or even um, appeal or maybe even potential lawsuits for these defendants basically saying that, yo, it took you this long to grant a mistrial. Young Thug's lawyer got to go down with the ship. It's like the Titanic. You got to go down with the ship at this point. The, 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 the judge in this case has basically said, I'm rocking with what the prosecutors are saying more than that. And also I'm down to jail Young Thug's lawyer. So I don't. he, he won't grant a mistrial. Now there's another option for a mistrial. But that has to come through the state of Georgia appellate court so there's an appellate court that this court responds to by the way if you're wondering why young thug's lawyer he's sitting right here isn't in jail even though he got sentenced to 20 days and was supposed to spend the next 10 weekends in jail doing friday to sunday which means all his weekends is because he got granted a reprieve and a bail how could they supersede this court that they're in? It's an appellate court. Why did he get that? This guy is a really reputable and has a really good face card in Georgia. Also, there's many attorneys standing behind him. So this was something that the appellate court stepped in on. What the appellate court hasn't stepped in on is any of the motions for mistrial any of the other motions or even um, th there is things that they have filed to the appeal court, right? Or the appellate court for the judge to be recused. They haven't said, stop the trial. That's what they could do. They could say, stop the trial. We're going to deal with that. Where have we seen that before? Well, Trump was supposed to be prosecuted by the same DA, Fonnie Willis, out of Atlanta. While Trump was about to be prosecuted, his team said, hey, this is improper. They have alternate reasons why they want to do this. She wants to give her sugar daddy some money by paying him with taxpayers' money. They're fucking. You know what the appellate court said? Stop that case. We're going to have some hearings to see if this is true. Okay? So potentially the appellate court could step in at any time. 
Now, one thing with the YSL case that has stretched over the span of a year and a half, they have never stepped in. They don't think the judge is doing anything that improper or they're just unwilling to fuck with this case, probably just because, again, at least with Trump as a politician, a former president, they wanted to make sure they got it right. With this, they're like, ah, we'll see it after you get the verdict. Let's be honest. And I know y'all think that Woody's playing the game. Yo, Woody's such a... Let me tell you this. Woody's a fucking stupid Negro. If he was any inch or ounce of intelligent, he would not have to be on a stand. He has to be on a stand to avoid jail. And he is snitching. I don't care what games you think he's playing. So what's probably going to be the outcome? The outcome in this case, if you ask me, is going to most likely result in a guilty verdict for Young Thug. Don't get mad at me. I'm not wishing it on him. I'm just telling you what appears to be the case. Now, is Thug getting a fair trial? That's a whole different conversation. I had that conversation with Mo Gangna. You guys can watch it on my main channel on YouTube. I don't think Young Thug is getting a fair trial at all. However, if it won't get terminated to a mistrial, the appellate court won't, won't, won't step in. We got to get to a verdict eventually, no matter how long this takes. What do you think the verdict's going to be? If you think the verdict's going to be innocent, you ain't tuned in enough. Stop watching my page and blog pages post about this trial because it's a reason why the, the goddamn uh, prosecutors came in with 500 witnesses and they got videos for days, audio for days, pictures for days. They got evidence for days. It's most likely that young thug will be convicted. Now, what his lawyers has done is an amazing job in showing that this case, number one, it shouldn't even really like, you know, if they could get the ear of the appellate court, it shouldn't go to a conclusion. It should be a mistrial now. Like, it's no reason why this is not a mistrial. His rights are being grossly disregarded. His, the, his due process and, and everything else in what he and other defendants, there's other defendants on this case, they are being, like, it's clear that this judge just wants to get this shit over with. But get it over with with them going to jail. So I do believe they're going to be successful on appeal. But if you sit here and wonder, oh my God, is Thug going to jail? It's without a doubt in my mind that Young Thug will be found guilty. And will be found guilty of racketeering. Now, let me bring in why I sell Woody. Remember I told you a long time ago, the reason why Woody is on, on, on this particular case is because Woody is a, a material and very important witness to connect Young Thug to the central crime in this case, which, by the way, allegedly finally was fucking this guy at some point. I don't know if that's true, but... Woody would be one of the people that could corroborate that young thug met up with the guys who allegedly did the murder and young thug ordered the murder and young thug did a B C and D that was fall out of the murder of Donovan nut Thomas. So here we are. We're in court with this guy who here's the thing. And this is also a lesson for all y'all in here. For all y'all in here. I know maybe they've tried to pay him off. I'm, I'm making it up. I don't know if it's true. Maybe he thinks he's going to be cool with Thug eventually. Who knows? Let me tell you something about Woody. Do you know why Woody was in that other video? I could pull it up again, the one where he's in the interrogation room. You know why he was snitching? The story goes deeper. The real story is that he felt Young Thug ordered a murder unnecessarily. He felt Young Thug was playing God. He said it to those investigators. I don't know if you're so rich. Why do you give a fuck about this? Why? He said that. He thought Young Thug was playing God. So Young Thug, in his opinion then, when he talked to those prosecutors, 
ordered the murder of Donovan Nutt Thomas. Police was trying to figure it out. There was a point that police thought that he was involved. One of the reasons why he snitched on Young Thug um, at first is because he felt Young Thug wasn't holding up to his end of the bargain. Young, Basically, Young Thug ordered a murder. Shit started getting hot because police is looking to it heavy. And Young Thug start icing certain niggas out. Typical street story. Have you ever heard that before? So he felt used like a pawn. He felt, yo. So you so you telling me, by the way, he didn't kill Donovan or Thomas. But he felt that Young Thug left him out on an island. And what I always tell y'all. Niggas is only as loyal as their last meal. And if you didn't feed them last, expect no fucking loyalty. The dude felt iced out. So he started talking. And he started talking. And the police started building the case against Young Thug. He started building the case. Because while Young Thug was running around flying on private jets. You know what I mean? Slime this, slime that, showing off his jewels. The actual niggas who did all the crime. And by the way, we're seeing this again. I'm going to get to the C-Day conversation soon. Even though Dirk ain't tell that nigga to do shit. A lot of, these are street niggas. And I've always said street niggas are the dumbest, lowest form of intelligent humans on earth. You could convince them with $1,500 to commit a murder. They're not thinking about, yo, I got five kids. What happened when I go to jail for this $1,500 check? What happens to them? Are they going to lose their housing? What happens to my mama? My mama is in a wheelchair. What happens to this? They don't think. So if, you, if you're talking about, and for all y'all thug fan pages out there, I hope y'all contextualize what's going on. Why is that nigga on the stand? You know why he's on the stand? It's because he talked to detectives years ago because him and Thug were at odds. He felt Thug left him out there to die. You got to pay your shooters. You got to keep them close. If they doing the dirt, you got to keep them close. Now, pretty much, if you really put two and two together and start analyzing it, that nigga didn't do the crime. And probably Thug thought the same. Well, nigga, you ain't do shit, nigga. So the fuck am I over here making sure you're good? But he knew information. He knew information that the cops needed to corroborate for years. They've heard stories that Thug ordered the murder, but they already arrested people that were incorrect. They never really had someone who was close by who could tell those conversations in the mix to tell them and corroborate what they needed to charge Young Thug with racketeer. Note, they didn't charge Young Thug with murder because this would be easy. If Young Thug had a murder case, this is what I'm trying to tell you about the Diddy shit. If Young Thug had a murder case, if your star witness get up there and be like, I lied to the, uh, I lied to the, uh, to, 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 to the, um, um, the, the, the detectives. But like, well, if that's your main thing, tying thug to the murder for ordering the murder, he didn't shoot no gun. Okay. Maybe by the way, the rented car that they did the drive by in allegedly was rented on the thugs name. That could just be coincidence. You got to prove beyond a reasonable doubt. If you get Woody up there and you charge thug with murder, thug spanks that case. It's <laughs> yo, Niggas is getting, yo, it's about to ass. But you hit him with Rico. All we got to do is prove that your organization do crime. You're the top. You're the big boss CEO of that shit. So for everybody who's watching this, they're like, oh, my God, it's a shit show. It absolutely is. An appellate court is going to have an amazing time when they read that appellate file of 16,000 
reasons why the, 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 the conviction will be overturned, of course they're going to grant it. But it don't mean he ain't going to get found guilty now. Just think about it. Let's go to the genius, right? Let's get let's go to the genius who um, think he's playing all these games. All right. Keep in mind. And, and we're trying to get again, all that shit he was talking about. Oh, I don't remember this. The prosecutors know they're going to be in court for two years. By the way, here's the thing, too. And this is why I'm saying we have to be realistic with what's going to happen in court. This case is going to go on for another year. It's going to make three years since Young Thug's locked up, right? Am I correct? Y'all go look it up. When did Young Thug get uh, um, I'm arrested? Let's look. When did Young Thug get arrested? Yes. It's going to go on for another year. It's going to make three years. They're going to get a verdict. You are going to be very stupid if you think that it won't be a guilty verdict. It's going to be guilty. They're coming with, bro, they're, they've thrown out even the kitchen sink. My nigga, the prosecutor was in court saying, hey, could we add some evidence from an academics video? They're trying, bro, they're coming with so much evidence. You have to be, even if you were Young Thug's family member himself on that jury, you're going to vote guilty. I'm telling you this. It's still a trash case. Be honest. And I think Thug's attorneys have done an amazing job. If you're wondering why Thug's attorneys are shouting at the judge, it's because there's so much bullshit being allowed in. They know it's not fair for Thug, and they know it's going to result in a conviction. So they're making a stink now that when it gets to appeal, an appellate court's going to easily say, oh, what the fuck? No, reverse this. Or let's, let's void this. Okay? Now, as I said, it's going to take another year. So it'll be three years since he was locked up. I think it's going to be a conviction. He's going to, there's going to be a period of time where he's going to be sitting, waiting for sentencing. That's going to be six months, maybe eight. Then it's going to be sentencing, and then the appeal could be filed. You can't file the appeal before, before that. Okay. Now they're they're gonna if you remember the Tory case they did a bunch of appeals before the sentence but it was like to it's almost like to reverse it while it was going on but that same judge is going to be listening to it the judge is that judge is not going to go against he ain't go against his himself now he ain't gonna go against it then so it's gonna be twenty twenty six okay Thug is gonna be sentenced. And when Thug is sentenced in 2026, there's going to be an appeal. I think it's going to take about mm, less than 18 months. So 2026 by 2027, I think an appellate court is going to say, that was a bullshit case. We're voiding his conviction. Then, I believe, just because the entire Fulton County's resource has been 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 so heavily poured into this they don't want to be embarrassed so they're gonna basically almost say that they're gonna want to do this case again i don't think they really want to and also we're gonna have to look at where fonny willis is at that time you know da's are elected officials we're gonna have to see where she's at and where she falls in the mix perhaps and this is my thought she might be out of the mix because of the Trump stuff. Now, there's no big wig in the, in the county office that's saying, we got to get Thug. Because right now, Fonnie Willis is saying, we got to get Thug. We need to win. We got to get Thug. If Fonnie Willis gets out the way because of the Trump stuff, and this is such a bad look for her, maybe that office says, uh, we've spent so much money, so much resources, Let's just try to get some type of win. Here's the win. We got this nigga locked up for five years on a trial. Let's give him like probation for eternity and call this shit raps. Let's get out of here. 
we still could tell the community that we try to hold the most, you know, the the the, the richest but 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 most vile people accountable. Um, but we don't have to sit in court for another couple of years, right? So we're looking at 2026, 2027. I think the Fulton County Court, uh, um, um, Fulton County DA's office gives him a deal where he gets probation for 20 years and time served, which would be five years, and he gets out. I, I I hope I'm not right, but it's important that we be realistic, okay? All right, anyway, here's my boy, Lil Woody. Um, we're not going to, um, okay, so, so, oh, this is three hours. We're not playing three hours of nothing with this motherfucker. Let's see if we could get a, a shortened version. Is it this? I think this is it. Here we go. Okay, chat. So I, I'm I'm gonna play. Give me give me 15 minutes. I'm I'm gonna get through all this Woody shit, and then we're off the YSL shit. I, I just want to make sure um. You know, you guys understand exactly what's going on because we're not breaking this shit down every single day. Here, okay. All right. Here we go. February 20th, 2015. Going back to the incident in which you, your girlfriend at the time, and your child was being shot at, do you remember seeing any of the individuals who shot at you? I never saw no one that shot at me at that time. Do you recall in that interview? Now, this is the important part, and this is why like, I, I'm glad we're, get, we're at this point. So everybody was like, oh, he's playing games and third. Of course, I was cute. But now they're only talking about him and what he said to investigators. And, you know, I know he keeps saying, oh, I lied to them. But but they're, they're, they're going to keep using that to figure out his recollection or whatever about really what happened. Did Thug have that guy killed? A period of time where the detective left the room and you were speaking with your girlfriend and you told her that you knew who shot at you. I never saw nobody. I never saw who shot at me. If I saw who shot at me, I would never tell the police who shot at me. Do you recall in this same February 20th, 2021 interview? That when the detective left the room, you said to your girlfriend, this shit not going to work. Sit right here and be a damn snitch. So I'm going to keep going. Do you recall telling your girlfriend that? I don't recall. Okay. And then she responded. Objection. You're right. It'll be effect on the listener. I'll rule the objection, sir. I'll rule, sir. So what you're saying, why are you acting like you did? And she said, you should have just said, no, I thought you know all of them. And you said to her, I do know who it was. Do you recall telling her that? I know that I knew the camera. I knew that I was being recorded. So I knew, I kind of knew what I was doing. Okay. And then you said, I saw him. I did when he jumped out the car. I know exactly who I saw. Nobody never got out of the car, so... This clearly proved that I knew what I was doing. Do you recall telling your girlfriend that? I don't recall what I told her. Okay. And this was when the detectives had left the room. I don't recall if they left the room or they stayed in. Do you recall further in the interview when the detectives asked you whether or not any of the people who did this had ever been to your home, you instructed your girlfriend to tell the detectives who had recently been at the house. I don't recall what I told him. Okay, he's going to do, do this game. Let me actually go to a super cut low-key of, um, 
of like his testimony because I, I don't want to sit here and listen to this fucking idiot. Um, be like, oh, I don't remember. Like, nigga, you're, you're snitching. I don't give a fuck what you're saying. Like, if if you weren't snitching, you would not be on the stand. I keep telling y'all that right now. Um, there's a super cut of of like his best moments. Somebody. Here we go. I think this is. Uh, I don't know. Life, which they okay. murder. I'm gonna start first with Stacey Tibbet three. Flynn allegedly said, namely that he would confess to being responsible for the murder okay, of okay, Tom. Here we go. Those. Yeah, like when I watch him perform. All right. Now. Mr. Copeland and his testimony, or lack thereof, it had a bit of a ripple effect. Why do I say that? I say that because according to Williams' lead defense attorney, Brian... Chat, I'm not mad he's not giving clear answers. I, I'm caring about y'all time. I'm like, do y'all want to watch a, a, a million hours trial? Like, we're here streaming. We're not trying to watch the whole thing. So I'm trying to get to the pertinent part. And all he keeps saying is dumb shit. So let's get to the parts where he doesn't say dumb shit. That's why I'm going to this. I don't give a fuck what he says. You know what I mean? I'm not in court. You know what I mean? I've been to the club with them. Um, I've been on shows. I mean, I'm correct that. You said on shows? Yeah, like when I watch them perform. All right. Now, Mr. Copeland and his testimony, or lack thereof, it had a bit of a ripple effect. Why do I say that? I say that because according to Williams' lead defense attorney, Brian Steele, he was told that the judge... The prosecution team, Copeland, and a stand-in attorney for Copeland were all part of an ex parte meeting, which is when they meet secretly in the judge's chambers, one-on-one -on -one with the judge. The defense is not present. And the defense argued that this was highly improper to have a private meeting with a sworn witness when they had no idea this was going on, especially when some of what Copeland allegedly said, namely that he would confess to being responsible for the murder of Thomas, or that the judge and prosecutor allegedly pressured him in that meeting to testify or face jail time. The defense said that that information we should have been privy to. Now, Judge Euro Glanville only wanted to know one, okay. and one surprise after the next. So now let's go back into Copeland's actual testimony. Here we go. Assistant District Attorney Simone Hilton asked him to elaborate on the information that he had given to investigators during that interrogation in 2021 that I had mentioned. At the time, Copeland, a convicted felon, had been found with a gun during a traffic stop and he was facing a 10-year sentence, but instead told the detectives about past crimes and crimes that he said were going to happen. The video, as I mentioned, was leaked online and in it, Copeland also talks about Jeffrey Lamar Williams and how he would be willing to help get a confession from him. But a frustrated Copeland told Hilton, he just told the investigators what they wanted to hear. Did you tell myself and my colleagues, Ms. Love and others, about Little D and Shannon being in your vehicle the night in the road? Huh? Yesterday, did you tell myself, Ms. Love, and a few of my other colleagues that Little D and Shannon were in the car with you the night of the murder of Donald Thomas. I told you and them that what I told investigators in June uh, when, when Nut got killed, something different because I was trying to finish my way out of a situation. So, so I said, I picked up D and Shannon. D never told me nothing. I made it up to clear myself up. And now, once again, if you guys are, you know, losing the plot, his whole thing was that he met up with um, the people who killed donovan nut thomas and he claimed he saw thug and you know basically through conversations he knew that thug was the one who ordered the murder and that's why he's like a witness to this case right so 
they're trying to get him to admit what he knew, but not, now he's trying to play games. They're still going to get it, though. That's it. And was that yesterday that you said that? Did you tell us that yesterday, what you just said? You asked me to be truthful. Okay. And I didn't. And I told you what I told the investigator back then wasn't me being truthful. So I'm telling you something that I didn't tell them because I ain't trying to go back to jail. I got it. But I asked you what yesterday. The first time you said this part and now what you're saying today is what is truthful. What you're saying right now, what you're trying to tell the jury right now is what you are now saying is truthful. What I'm trying to tell you is our conversation was about something that I said in the past. I understand. I'm asking you. I asked that Mr. Copeland allowed to finish his answer. Okay, all right. Oh, I thought he was up. Mr. Copeland, do you, you need to finish your answer? No, I need a break, young. Say again? I need a break. If you're a Godfather Part 2 fan, by the way, it's okay. very... Over and over and over. Eat up your questioning. Most definitely. Okay. Are you saying, yes, that's what you told Detective Gaither? <clears throat> I know I, I know I ain't complete school, but I, I think I'm speaking proper English. I told you, I don't recall nothing I said to no police. You keep sitting right here asking me the same question over and over and over and over and over. I'm tired of it. I'm drained. Okay. Well, if you would just answer the questions properly. I am answering the question. You ask me, I say yes, yes. You keep, when I say yes, you ask me the same question over and over and over and over and over. But you, did you just tell the court and this jury that you're saying yes just to move the process along? I think I said it loud and clear. So again, yes, will you just answer the questions and we can move the process along? What blood set were you a part of? Can you repeat that? What <laughs> blood set were you a part of? What blood set were I a part of? Yes, sir. I wasn't part of no real blood set. Okay. Did you ever claim to be a Billy Blood? I said I was. Okay. And were you? No. Did you tell Detective Gaither that you were, I mean, not Detective Gaither, Detective Lewis, in that February 21st interview that you were Billy Blood? I don't know what I told him in, 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 when they questioned me. Okay. Do you recall talking to Detective Lewis about the meeting with Mo where they said that they were going to kill you? Huh? Do you remember talking to Detective Lewis about that the meeting with Mo, who was in prison, and that they were planning on killing you? I don't recall. And do you recall her asking you why you weren't at this meeting? Huh? Do you recall her asking you why you weren't at this meeting? Why was I at the meeting? Why were you not at the meeting? At what meeting? The meeting with the Bloods, the meeting of the Bloods trying to kill you. I don't recall. Okay. And do you... Sure. February 21st. What year? 2015. And then, do you recall telling her you weren't down with them, but that you were Billy Blood? I don't recall. Okay. And then, do you recall her I, I gotta skip a little bit into this. Apparently, we, we just want to get to the uh, Donovan Nutt Thomas murder thing. This is what the prosecutor... This is what the... um um the jury's going to weigh a lot. Here's where some of it starts. Yeah, and put up with me for that long. Okay, but you kept talking to them for the entire nine hours. <laughs> I'll stand, rephrase. I stand question. Did you speak with them for the entire nine hours? I was <laughs> handcuffed to the behind my back, led shuckled to the chair. And guess what I know? When I get finished talking to them, I'm going to the jail. So guess what I'm trying to do? Trying to buy as much time as I can before I go to the jail. Do you recall the detectives asking you, why does it matter to Thug 
if you're talking to the police or not, if he has no say in what happened with Nut. And your response is between us and me, between us men, I want to say they, they had something to do with it. What about it? Do you recall telling that to the detectives? Probably, yeah. Okay. And then when they asked you who was the they, do you recall saying thug and them? Okay. Did you recall saying that? Uh, yeah. Okay. And then they said. Got him. Got him, chat. For all you little, you, you, you little niggas who be like, oh, no, he's doing an amazing job up there. He already snitched on video. All they need him to say in court is, do you recall saying, you know what he said on, on the video? Like, I don't got the exact clip. He said this. Yo, Donovan Nut Thomas, yo, they killed him. They had something to do with him dying. They said, who is they? Young Thug in them. What just happened? All that little hieroglyphics playing. I don't know what's going on. You just confirmed it, you fucking dummy. Thank you. So this is why I keep telling y'all. This is why, like, sometimes we get hyped. I'm like, oh, no, he's going to beat the case. Bruh, the, the fucking snitch just got up there and basically confirmed what he snitched about. All that shit. Oh, I don't know how old I am. I don't. Nigga, this is the shit you should have said. Oh, I, I, no, that wasn't true at all. Look. Back to the detectives. Probably, yeah. Okay. Look. And then let me when say they once again. Going to the jail. So guess what I'm trying to do? Trying to buy as much time as I can before I go to the jail. Do you recall the detectives asking you, why does it matter to Thug if you're talking to the police or not, if he has no say in what happened with Nut? And your response is between us and me. Between us, man, I want to say they, they had something to do with it. What about it? Do you recall telling that to the detectives? Probably, yeah. Okay. And then when they asked you who was the they, do you recall saying thug and them? Okay. Did you recall saying that? Uh, yeah. Okay. And then they said thug and them who? And you said Shannon and Bentley. Say that again. Sure. When they then asked you thug and who, you responded Shannon and Bentley and all because all of them just acting funny towards me. Yeah. Okay. Boy. Chat, remember I told you the story. The issue here is young thug iced him out. They start, what I mean iced him out, start giving him the cold shoulder. Thug started going to the club. He used to be part of the entourage. I got invited. Then he wasn't invited no more. Then he was being told that it may be, oh, he was going to have to be a fall guy. Then he was being told that, oh, look, look like young Thug might be getting at him for some shit. And then he started thinking, okay, what I got to do? He said, I could find that on the stand that he said he, he admitted that he wanted to kill Thug. Or he was going to plan or someone was talking about killing Thug, right? Because think about it. I'm I, I'm a witness that could sink the ship. Y'all start icing me out. I'm wondering what's up. Niggas would probably be like, yo, I think Thug about to get on you type shit, whatever, whatever. Now you start talking that people be like, yo, well, if he about to do something to me, man, he the famous rapper. I could do something to him. Then, do y'all understand where we're going with this? This is why I keep trying to tell you, you can't give a stupid nigga a smart job. <laughs> this nigga played dumb. He been playing dumb for two weeks. And when it got down to the time that he's supposed to play dumber, he finally got smart. Do you remember? He don't remember shit. Do you remember Uh, you said that it was it was Thug and him that killed him? Oh, yeah, I remember that one. What the fuck? Nigga, nigga, what that? Nigga, this is the time you lie. Now, of course, he did say that everything he said to those detectives is a lie. The the the, the prosecutor is not going to fight that argument. They just want him to corroborate it because what they're doing is they're entering shit into evidence. What they're gonna do afterwards with this fuck nigga is they're gonna say, well. 
he now is trying to not tell in court. It's not that he is, was lying then. He's just scared of the ramifications. So, so they're going to pretty it up to be like, yo, nah, he wasn't lying then. He was telling the truth then. He basically agreed that he said it then. Now he's trying to, like, diminish it or act like he don't remember just because we're in open court, okay? So it, essentially he's doing what the prosecutors knew he was going to do. They deal with snitches all day. Um, just give this nigga, yo, just give this nigga a tail and some cheese, man. Like, he's doing a good job up there, okay? Uh. So that was the most important part. And and, and that's what I wanted you to kind of hear. Let me see if anything else was in there. That's good. That of me, my girl and my baby almost shot. My now, you got to remember, he thought that thug was trying to get him killed. So if you wonder, and, and I could Google it, what he admits to planning to kill young thug. Like, like he actually just admitted it. Where is it? Uh, where can I find it? Yeah, I'm saying. Here we go. What blood set were you a part of? Okay, it's the same shit. Killed up. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Because I was paranoid. People were shooting at me. Here we go. So basically, Young Thug iced him out. When I mean iced him out, you're not part of the gang no more. I'm not hitting you up for normal shit. You're not rolling with us. This is after some shit go down. Thug knows that the police is looking around. The police locks up the wrong people. Again, these things are broke. Like, I, I guess I'm trying to get you to mentally see what, like, a, a jury is going to probably, like, understand the story to be. These guys are fucking broke. So if, if I'm the, the goon, the street nigga for a guy, and I'm broke, and then it's getting hot, and you don't fuck with me at all. Like, you just, like, left me out there to die. Then I get shot at. I'm thinking you're trying to kill me. You're trying to... It's probably, you know, they say it's cheaper to keep her. Well, it's a lot cheaper to kill the nigga who could tell all you, right? So that's what he was thinking. Little, little D from Mechanicsville? Uh, yes. And what about Shannon? Uh, yes. Now, when you got to that interview, did you believe that people were trying to kill you? Mm, here we go. Uh huh. I thought people trying to kill me for a long time. By the way, I keep trying to tell y'all, chat. All this guy's fil all doing is filibuster, and if, if you know about politics, that's a term there, which means you're just trying to waste time, right? You're trying to waste time. But does he give up the information? He does. He's snitching. Trust and believe he's snitching. Yeah, he's playing some games. He's acting whatever. He's being cute, cool, but he is telling. He's given a baseline story that if you read beyond the bullshit, you get. Yo, the reason why I talked to the cops and I told on Thug, I thought that nigga was trying to kill me. I thought he was trying to get me to take the rap for it. That shit ain't happened. They started looking at him. I thought, you know, because I was one of the people who could corroborate. I thought he was trying to kill me. I told my girlfriend, like, yo, this shit ain't kind of cool. I told the cops, hopefully I could get out of some other trouble because he kept getting caught with guns and shit. Right? Makes sense. Now, he took another deal and he's telling on Thug. Specifically in June, um, did you still believe that people thought you snitched on them regarding the murder of Donovan Thomas? Uh, can you say it one more time? Sure. When you had this interview in June of 2015, did you think going into that interview that people thought that you had snitched on them regarding the murder of Donovan Thomas. Oh, Rogue. Well, no, I take that back. I'm going to sustain the question. Yeah. Okay. Why did you think people were trying to kill you? Uh, 
because I was paranoid. People were shooting at me. Did you tell the detectives in this June 10th interview that everyone in the world is trying to kill me because they think I told on them? No, I, um, I told you know, them that people were trying to kill me because they said I killed Nut. Do you recall telling the detectives about the fact that the tech, that Thug's sister had called you or had texted you? Can you For, say that again? Sure. Let me ask you this. Did Thug's sister ever text you regarding you going to the police about Nut's murder? Um. I text her Give it up, and my boy. told her that I was going to kill Thug when I get a chance. That's what you're talking about? No, but why did you text her that you were going to kill Thug when you get a chance? Because I let a lot of people get in my ear. And what did they get in your ear about? It's effect on the listener, Your Honor. Chad, I keep telling you, this ain't the this this the parts that they're not showing you on social media. Woody is snitching. He's just trying to have his time up there. As I told y'all, Six Nine told me about being on the stand. He said when he was on the stand, he was cracking jokes. A lot of these guys get up here like this is their stage. So yeah, you know, there's this one clip where the prosecutor comes close and he's like. And he's acting like the prosecutor smells it. He's, he's, he's doing his thing. But he's definitely snitching. You know why? He don't want to go back to jail, my nigga. That's the point. That's the fucking point. So for everybody who say Woody's doing a good job, I hope y'all seen these parts. What did they get in your ear about? Uh, a whole lot of stuff. It was, I, people, I was, Is that it? People were coming to me every five minutes with something. About not just though it was just a lot of people, but mainly most people was coming to me about the. What so, about the? No, nah, they just just kept coming to me like he ain't right. He he's supposed to. I don't I don't know how to answer that. I mean, but what were they telling you such that you thought that you had to kill the? Say it again. What were they telling you such that you thought in your mind you wanted to kill him? That. To watch him because everybody saying I killed Nut and they didn't want that on them, so they gonna I don't know, put it on me. I don't know. Like it was so many different people. Chat, do you see how you could easily just get what he's trying to say? He's literally saying and corroborating the story that the DA is gonna run with to say Young Thug killed Nut. This nigga was getting blamed for Nut. He started acting up, and basically they're like, yo, well, if if he has information that could snitch on us, how about we just kill him and get him out of the way? He's kind of corroborating the same story that the, that the prosecutors need is that Young Thug, the only reason why he's been able to operate. By the way, all they got to convince the jury of is that Young Thug is a, is a um, master manipulator that has uh, um, controlled a gang through criminal activities by ordering crimes this and third and when you hear this it sounds like he is corroborating the same thing they're saying i felt why the moment he said oh i felt i had to kill thug why did you have to kill thug oh well i had to kill thug because i was hearing that he was exactly you're doing the job people just telling me stuff so but to kill somebody, what were they telling you to make you think you had to kill Thug? Uh, what did they tell me that made me think I had to kill him? Yes. That I better watch him? Why? Because they said I was, I was messing up his career. Like, they saying that I was putting him in stuff that I got going on. Like, they, they were saying all type of stuff. Like I... Now, he don't realize this don't make sense. So... It, you had to kill him because, um, remember, you see, this is why, again, I keep trying to tell you, and I know some people feel like I'm anti-thug, I'm not. I just hate when y'all give credit to dumb niggas for doing dumb shit. It's a reason why the prosecutors are painting the picture and going, and they're playing, they know he's playing games. 
but they're going sequentially. So they got him to admit. So you got shot at, right? Yeah, I got shot at. He admits that. Now they ask him, th th even if he lies, as a juror, you know the, you know the answer. Oh, um, well, I was going to kill Thug because they think uh, whatever with a murder, but it's just because I'm messing up his career. No, they're shooting at you, nigga. They're trying to kill you. So you're like, if they're trying to kill me, let me kill them. This genius thinks that he's just tricking everybody. No, nigga. So why would you messing up his career mean you have to kill Thug? Exactly. <sighs> they sent me. Okay. Keep in mind, three minutes before this or five minutes before this, they just established that he's getting shot at. If you feel you got to kill somebody, wouldn't the obvious thing be, oh, the people who I believe were shooting at me, I'm going to try to kill them because they're trying to kill me? That's, you, can't, you can't put a dummy on the stand. Hey, a female came to me and told me that she heard something. Then another person came to me and told me that he heard something. So people kept coming to me, and I was paranoid because I had said something to a friend of mine where I felt as in whatever I was saying to him had got back out. So let's start there. What did you tell, to, what did you tell your friend that, got, that you think got back to him? I was planning on him. Why would you be plotting on the... <laughs> this is the thing about lying You ain't think through it too much They got him They got him I don't recall Okay I don't You see you, and, and this is what I keep trying to tell y'all A jury isn't dumb He couldn't make up a lie Why would you be plotting on Thug Here's the thing. This is what happens when a dumb nigga just realized that someone smarter outsmarted him. He don't even have a lie ready to give her. Oh, I don't remember now. They got you. They got you. Do you recall telling the detectives um, that you called, that Dolly texted you and was cursing you out? Yeah. Okay. And... This is years ago. Do you remember what she was cursing you out about? Because I told her I was going to kill Thug when I see him. Okay. What's the, do you recall the last four digits of the number that she was texting you from? No. Do you recall giving that full phone number to the detectives? No. Do you recall giving them a phone number ending in 1990 for his sister? Probably so. Which sister are we texted you? Uh, Dolly. Okay. Did she have another name? I said Dolly. Did you call her something else? Yeah, I called her Dolly and Max. Okay. Do you recall texting Dolly, damn, your brother's trying to have me killed? Um, I probably have. Okay. Why would you? Now, here's the thing about it. They have the message. If they're asking this, they have the message. Text her that. Because I thought what I was said to somebody else had got back to him. So what did you tell somebody else that you thought got back to him? <laughs> yo, 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 this guy's too stupid. <laughs> oh, so you did send the text. Here's the thing. Because he doesn't want to perjure himself. This this will happen to every smart, dumb nigga or really smart, dumb, dumb nigga who gets on stand. Oh, yeah, I could outsmart them. You know if you lie, you're, you, that's a perjury charge. So you can't really lie. So you, you do this, I don't remember, I don't remember. But certain shit, they're, they're basically saying, well, we have the evidence for it. We could introduce it and be like, hey, you don't. So is this your phone number? Is this that? Is this your message? And you got to say yes. So it'd be like, uh, I guess I sent it. Now they ask him something that's a follow-up question. He, he's like stunned. Watch him. No recall. I don't recall. <laughs> what again? When just watch this. Just watch the secret sequence of questions, chat. 
Here we go. Do you recall texting Dolly? Damn, your brother's trying to have me killed. Um, I probably have. Okay. So I would care if he said I probably have. He's basically affirming it. Yeah, yeah, I probably did say that. He sh it's different if you say, I don't recall for everything. He's like, oh, yeah, I probably did say that. Why would you probably say that? Right? Like, that's an obvious follow-up. He didn't think that far. Stupid nigga. Why would you text her that? Oh, shit. Because I thought what I was saying to somebody else had got back to him. Then he says something. Oh, why would you Why would you say, uh, uh, um, um, blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh, because I thought what I was saying to somebody else got back to him. What's the obvious question? What were you saying to someone else? You know he's trying to be evasive if he doesn't. You said the reason why you assumed that that conversation happened is because what you were saying to someone else, you thought got back to him. What would you say to somebody else? So what did you tell somebody else that you thought got back to him? <laughs> Here we go. I don't recall. Chat, I'm playing you these. I'm playing you these clips. I'm not no hater. Please let let it be known. Put it on the record. I'm not no hater. I'm playing these clips because when Young Thug is found guilty, I don't want y'all to look at me and be like, "Ack, what? Yo, I thought w Woody spent them. No, nigga, he's in court snitching. He's in court putting Thug in jail. That's what the fuck is going on. Okay. What, again, would make you text that to her brother? To Dolly. Damn, your brother's trying to have me killed. You know what I mean? Like, what the hell I ever did to him? Why would you text that to her? I told y'all, paranoid. Yeah, it was so much going on. I, I, it was so much going on. I had so many people in my head. And this is my way of trying to uh, force a reaction. Force a reaction from who? From him to see how he react to it. Why were you trying to force a reaction from him? Because I didn't know what the truth was. I didn't know. I I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't know what was going on. Yo, chat. I might have a problem. What the fuck? Y'all finish this whole bottle on stream. How much is this? Uh, how many liters? I'll tell you. It's a small bottle. It ain't that big. Um, uh, three seventy-five milliliters. God damn it! I finished this shit on stream. Holy shit! <laughs> By the way, this is why I hate DoorDash and liquor. I fucking DoorDash this bitch. This shit look bigger in the photo because they zoom in, nigga. When this came, I said, what the fuck? <laughs> what type of miniature bottle is this, nigga? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Now, we talked about in February. Strike that. We talked about in January people thinking that you had killed Nut. Right. Also in February, the N Nut died in January 2015. From what from what I've uh, I researched, people think you were trying to kill Nut. Huh? The people think that you killed Nut. Excuse me. Objection calls for speculation. Did you believe? I'll sustain the form of question. Did you believe that people thought that you killed Nut? Did I believe it? Yes. People were convinced. Okay. By the time we got to June. Did you still have that same belief when you got did I have that belief? Yes, when you got arrested in June, did you still have that same belief that people thought you had done that you had killed Nut? Um, I, I don't know, like. Have, you know, so many, it was so many people on, on, so many people just like, a lot of people said they know I didn't do it, but a lot of people said I did it, so I don't. And I'll ask you again, did yeah, you I kill don't. Nut? No. Okay. 
Now, when you got to this. Now, by the way, it's very important. Um, didn't he say something about nuts murder before? I'm wondering if they gave him immunity. I don't think it's blanket immunity. It's probably for certain shit. Um, well, well supposedly he has use immunity, which, which, um, and salute to my man, Mo Gagnon, who, um, exp uh, explained all this. So his testimony can be used. So really he could have said, I killed nut and they can't use the testimony. They got to go find some other shit to testify, um, to convict him of. This interview, do you recall speaking with the detectives about the night uh, that nut was killed? Can you say that again? Sure. When you got to this June interview, do you recall speaking to the detectives about the night that Nut was killed? Um, yeah. Okay. To all the way interview. The, the, the June one? Yes. Okay. Now, did you have concern during this June interview that Thug had observed you speaking to police? Huh? Did you have concern during this June interview that Thug has seen you speaking to police? No. Do you recall telling the detectives in this June interview, long story short, the detectives was calling my phone and he was right there. And they asked you, Thug was right there? And you said, yeah. So I answered the phone and he's looking at me like this, but I don't know what's going on. They ask you, why is he looking like that? And you said, because he see me answering the phone for them. No, he, he told me that. When I answered the phone, I answered my phone on speaker. So it was my baby mama calling me saying that the investigators wanted to talk to me. I was like, for what? And that's when he said what he wanted to talk to me about. And he got on the phone, asked me, could I come down there and interview him? And throw up like go I mean go down there. <laughs> Why were you concerned then that he saw you answering the phone for the police in front of him? Yo, chat, I keep telling y'all, I'm not doing this because I don't I, I I dislike Thug, but I just want to tell y'all. When there's no mistrial and this goes to a verdict and y'all see guilty, don't get surprised. The guy who y'all thought didn't snitch, told. Why are you surprised? Like, you hear what they're asking this nigga? I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know about him being concerned. It appeared like he, like even these questions is basically spelling out the real shit homie you were down to tell on thug to get out of some other shit when you thought he was trying to get you killed why was he trying to get you killed he felt that you had information or you knew about his involvement in nuts murder and he started becoming untrustworthy of you he started moving weird around you and after that you start getting shot at then you started even, you even admitted on the stand, you told his sister, you're going to kill Thug. Which means that, okay, this guy's going to kill me because he thinks I'm going to snitch on him, but I'm not snitching, so I'm going to kill him first. Then you get picked up later and you snitch. Hey, and what Kendrick said? Hey, Drake, they're not slow. Yo, Woody, the jury not slow. We get it. <laughs> Why would you tell the police that? <laughs> because it's the police. If, if there was, if there wasn't an issue, why, why would that be a need to tell the police that thug was Because at, at the time the police questioned me, it was me against everybody. So I, they saying that they want thug and that's what I'm trying to do. Get them up off of me. So I had text the phone the day before they, they locked me up. And I mean, I text their phone and told them that I was going to kill him when I see him. So the police got me the next day. And when they got me, that was it. Let's go back. What day are you talking about? You June. 
in June. You say you texted the who did you text? The one day uh -huh. I I text their phone, I called his sister and told her, Tell your brother when I see him, I'm gonna kill him. Okay. I don't care who see me, I'm gonna kill him. Me and her were arguing on the phone. As me and her were arguing on the phone, I got mad and hang up the phone. The very next day, I, I, uh, two days later, one of, I know I woke up and the police was at the door. Okay. When they got me, I was mad with the world. And were you arrested again for those guns? Yes. All right. And that's the only thing you were arrested for, for those guns. And I, I think they, they, I think they put some gang charges on me or something. I, I think they put some more charges on me or something. Okay. And I understand that she said you texted his sister, Dolly, that you were going to kill. Nah, I, I, I don't think I texted. I told her over the phone that I was going to kill him. But that, was that in response of you asking her whether or not he was trying to kill you? Oh, no, nah, I didn't ask her nothing. Okay. So why did you tell the detectives that? Because he's the detective. Were you concerned that Thug did not want to hang around you anymore because you had been talking to the police? No. Do you recall telling detectives in this same June interview, he ain't want to hang around me anymore? And they asked you, this Thug? And he said, yeah, like, damn, what the hell? Why the hell these niggas don't want me around? Do you recall being concerned that Thug did not want you hanging around him anymore? Well, well he actually called me a few times to try to get me to come around. I didn't want to go around. So why would you tell the police, why the hell these niggas don't want me around? Because I'm talking to the police and they are after me. When you were arrested, were you not trying to get out of jail? For sure. So why would you be telling them lies if you were trying to get out of jail? So let me say this. If you tell, if I tell the police, the alphabet is A, B, C, D, right? The police going to tell me what come out the D. E come out the D, I think, A, B, C, D, E. Man, I don't know, man. I'm not about to go through all that. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, this is the investigators. They, they lock me up. They targeting me. They, they constantly, every, every time I come out, I come outside, spit on the ground. SWAT team got me. Like. So why would you stay in a nine hour interview if they were out to come and get you? You see, you see what you said? That's how bad they was after me. They sit right there and put up with me for that long. Okay. But you kept talking to them for the entire nine hours. I'll stand, I'll rephrase. I stand question. Did you speak with them? So, I, I like everybody who's like, "Oh, Woody's keeping in the beam." You see what they're you see what they're trying to say? Hey, Woody, you were willing and you recollected a lot back then. Um, we can't say they were. You know, his whole thing was, like, "Oh no, I just told him what I need to tell him to get out of jail." They were like, "You talked to them for nine hours. Why did you talk to investigators for nine hours?" That's the point. You think the jury not going to look at that, bro? For the entire nine hours. I was handcuffed to the behind my back, led shocker to the chair. And guess what I know? When I get finished talking to them, I'm going to the jail. So guess what I'm trying to do? Trying to buy as much time as I can before I go to the jail. Are you selling your regular clothes? Mm-hmm. Is that a yes for the record? Yes. Okay. Now, sitting in this room... Did you believe that the truth would have hurt you as you were doing this interview? It's not about the truth hurting me. It's about the state of mind I was in. Okay. But did you believe the truth would have hurt you? I don't know. So why won't you tell the truth? Because I'm about to go to jail. So the state of mind I'm in is I'm about to go to jail. Right. So would lying have helped you to get out of jail? It have. Didn't they tell that they were going to have to verify any information you told them? Hey, chat. You know what's funny? You see the screen right here? This is a screen of the camera or one of the camera angles that showcases. It's like they're letting this nigga know. 
bro, we not just making this shit up. We got you on videotape, nigga, 4K footage. You see him kind of like looking back there? They did. Okay. So why would you tell a lie? They had to verify what they told you and you were trying to get out of jail. I don't know. Did you believe the truth would hurt Thug? Say that again. Did you believe the truth was going to hurt Thug? You said, do I believe the truth was going to hurt Thug? Yes. That would be his problem. Right, but if you're in this state of mind, why would you be in there just telling lies? Because that's who the police are. They, 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 they locking me up, but they are acting him. But they're locking you up, and you are trying to get out of jail. Wouldn't you tell the truth? to get out of jail. It depends on who 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 is who is the truth to. Did the detective ask you why were you so concerned about whether or not Thug knew you were talking to the police? Can you say it again? Let me just ask you a better question. Why were you concerned about whether or not Thug knew you were talking to the police? I wasn't concerned. Do you recall the detectives asking you, why does it matter to Thug if you're talking to the police or not, if he has no say in what happened with Nut? And your response is, between us and me, between us men, I want to say they, they had something to do with it. Oh, what about it? Do you recall telling that to the detectives? Probably, yeah. Okay. And then when they asked you who was the they, do you recall saying Thug and them? Okay. Did you recall saying that? Uh, yeah. And then they said Thug and them who? And you said Shannon and Bentley. Say that again? Sure. When they then asked you Thug and who, you responded Shannon and Bentley and all because all of them just acting funny towards me. Yeah. Okay. Chat. Do I need to keep spelling this out? They're acting funny towards me. AKA they're shooting at me, I think. Chat. Y'all are smart. Y'all are smart. I feel like sometimes when I be trying to like do my little thing and explain it to y'all, I be looking in the comments. Your niggas would be like, yo, act, we not dumb. I know y'all are smart. I'll leave it at that, okay? <laughs> Here's what I'm trying to say. Why sell Woody did his job? By the way, here's what I'm trying to also say. He knew what job he had to do, so he played dumb with the stupid shit. Oh, what? Blood? Your job wasn't to confirm being a blood. Your job wasn't to confirm blood sets. Your job wasn't to say that you, thug, and whoever was in sex money murder, which is a, which is what they call YSL or the slimes out of Georgia, but it's a faction of uh, of sex money. That's not your job. So you playing dumb there, and everybody's like, "Oh, he's playing dumb." Cool. Your job on that stand was to corroborate this: that young thug who was a comrade of yours, felt you were only a threat after he felt you were going to tell the police that he killed Donovan Nutt Thomas. Also, your belief back then that he did do it. Why, why would your belief be that? Well, you speak to him a lot, and then you start seeing what happened. Again, for all the people who think that this nigga who ev evaded the prosecutors, no. He did exactly what they wanted to do, which was to cooperate and tell on Young Thug. All right, chat. We're not going to, like, keep dragging this uh, too much. Did y'all see this whole Cardi B shit, bro? So, Brian Steele, a.k.a. Young Thug's lawyer, got arrested in court. Man. I want to keep it a bean right quick. This whole case is just ratchet and ghetto, bro. Like. It's not much else I could say besides the whole case is just ratchet and ghetto. Um, 
your lawyer getting arrested, bro. Like, ain't gonna lie, bro. If my lawyer is getting arrested, do you feel like you're generally gonna beat the case? And then, even though Act was talking about a mistrial and stuff, I generally feel like just how, how like, with YW Melly, they called a mistrial and he was immediately charged back again. They're going to do the same thing with Young Thug. And it's going to drag out one, two plus years over and over and over. I ain't going to lie. It might be sad to say, unless Young Thug could get out on, like, like, Act said, like, a 10 or 15 years probation, which. You know how that probation stuff works. You go into 10, 15 year pro probation, the way those guys live, one, two years max, they're failing it, and then they got to go back and save the remainder of their time. But I mean, they got a bunch of money and the best lawyers in the world, so they'll probably find a way to get through it, get prescriptions for all the drugs that they need because they're all, most of them are drug addicts. You feel me? It's one thing I really want to say, bro. Gunna got out. He got fit as hell. Young Thug in there getting chunky. Like, before Young Thug looked like he weighed 120 pounds soaking wet. Man, it is crazy. Like, it's crazy how time changes. But if your lawyer is sitting there getting arrested, my dude, it's a problem. You feel me? I don't know if he did a good thing by saying what he said. And when I say that, I mean, like, giving the judge, like, hints that Oh, it was people in the private hearing who were saying stuff, which you feel me shouldn't be happening, but hey, we don't know, bro. I don't know. Now he has to spend 10 weeks every single weekend for the next like 10 weeks just locked up. And Brian still's gangster as hell, too, because he said. Lock me in there with my client. So he wants to be locked in there with, what's his name, bro? With Thug. Like, act said, bro. This man, Thug, must be giving this man, like, millions of dollars. Or, I ain't gonna lie. These criminal lawyers, a lot of them, they're, <laughs> you feel me? They love this stuff. Like, he probably, Jenny, it's probably like a movie for him. Like, this whole case and stuff, depending how it goes, YNW Melly's life could be a movie. They can make Take K's life into a movie. They can make what's going on with Young Thug right now into a movie. I'm, 50 Cent could probably adapt and make all that stuff. They can make the King Von stuff a movie. Like, they really could just make movies about everybody, bro. For real, for real. But hey, man. <laughs> Let me know how you guys feel about everything, bro. It's your boy, Big Act News. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and free Thug. Do y'all think Thug is going to come out or he's locked up for good, man? Let me know in the comments below. It's your boy, Big Act News, and I'm out.